all right as you're going look we're going to make this today this beef stew really really beautiful plenty of bone in there a little bit of fat on the beef plenty of meat takes ages so prepare yourself this does take a while to cook but absolutely delicious i've just used potatoes and carrots in there we've got some celery as well but add other vegetables as you wish that is delicious welcome back to how to cook great so let's take a look at our meat we've got some beef there there's a lot of bone in there there is some lovely meat on there but there is plenty of bone little bit of fat i've got there 2 kg that's about 4 pounds just over 4 pound in total let's get moving on this it's a bit of a slow cooker this one it's going to take a while so uh, yeah let's get moving so you're going to need a decent sized pot here in there i've got some oil about three tablespoons of olive oil to get it going medium heat what we're going to do is get our beef in there you can see there's some lovely bones and that in there but like i say there's some really lovely meat on this and very simply what we're going to do is we're going to cook this for about seven or eight minutes just with some salt and pepper get it on the go you know get it moving black pepper i'm going to be quite generous with my pepper salt about seven or eight minutes medium heat throwing it around So while that beef is just cooking away there, let's look at the next step. This is what's going in next. We've got two cups of celery, two cups of onion, two tablespoons of garlic, and two teaspoons of dried thyme. So we've just got a little bit of color on there. Absolutely nowhere near cooked. Let's go for that two tablespoons garlic, two teaspoons thyme. Use something different if you want. I'm just going with thyme. Two cups celery two cups onion we're going to go again this time for about five minutes fabulous next up some liquid i'm using water two liters here of water let that go for 30 minutes give it a stir every now and then okay so that's been going for about 30 minutes you really do need to cook this out to get this meat tender otherwise it's going to be chewy be like an old shoe we're now going to go in here i've got one cup of tomato paste in that goes let's mix that in and we're going to go again for 15 to 20 minutes if it dries out put some more liquid in some more water i've used water but you could use some sort of stock if you want 15 more minutes give it a stir every now and then fabulous starting to kind of cook nicely now the bones are showing but we've still got a way to go Next up, we're going to add more water or stock, this time one litre. So that's three in total now. Guess what we're going to do now? We're going to go for another 30 minutes. Good stuff. We're just going to re-season this a bit, you know, a bit more salt. A bit more black pepper. And then we're going to add vegetables. Now, do not add any vegetables until you're confident that that meat is cooked. I am. So we're going to add today, I'm going to be adding carrots. I've just got carrots cut into nice thick rounds. In they go. Chunky cut potatoes, really nice and big. That's the veg that I'm using. If you want, you can put in other vegetables. And again, more liquid one more litre so that's four litres in total I think isn't it but yeah don't get that veg in if your meat's not good that's looking bloody marvellous isn't it 
Okay, what we're gonna do now, <clears throat> I'm gonna go below me medium now. Lid on, I'm gonna let that go now for another 30 minutes. I told you, it's not quick, but this is delicious. Okay, look, I've just turned the heat off. We're done, sort of. Check those potatoes out, look. They're good, carrots, good. Now what I like to do is, some of the potatoes, I just like to mash it down just a little bit. You don't have to do this, of course. Just grab a spud, mash it down. It goes nicely in the sauce there, I think. That way we don't have to put any cornstarch or corn flour or anything in it. Just gives it a little bit of body. I mean, do as many or as few as you like. Check it for salt, it's gonna be great for me. That meat is really lovely and tender. And just one more thing, I'm gonna add some parsley to this. A fresh herb of any kind is great. So I've got some flat leaf parsley here, like a cup. In that goes. Gonna give that a mix. And we've got ourselves a massive, beautiful, delicious, beef stew there loving that one that is wonderful that is hearty and loads of it plenty going on in there as you've seen not the quickest thing to cook in the world but is it worth it oh yeah that's lovely that really really lovely i hope you enjoy that you keep safe you keep well i'll see you soon lots of love Thanks a lot for getting to the end of the video. If you'd like to give me a thumbs up, that does help us out quite a lot with the algorithm and such like. Subscribe if you like, you'll get notified about what we're doing. There's a thanks button if you want to donate. See you soon.